All right. <clears throat> Hello and welcome everybody to the D-Pad on Twitch. I'm Jeff. I'm Dave. And uh, it's Wednesday night, which means it's Brother Quest night. So we are back with some more Brother Quest. I think for the first time ever, I'm going to remember to load the campaign immediately this time. Because it I... takes 20 minutes. Careful, man. You're going to throw off the whole <laughs> groove a bit. Yeah, that's our time is going to be out for the whole night. Everything's just going to be 10 minutes ahead. Hello to Closer Division. Hey, Alex Britt. <clears throat> See, the thing is, I get to listen to the opening theme for the first, like, 10 minutes of the stream and the pre-roll and stuff, and as I'm getting things set up and I'm getting into the game state. So I love that song. But by the time we're actually into the stream, I tend to... I'm sort of over it a little bit. Yeah. Hello, Alex. Hello, Closer Division. Closer Division, I don't know if you caught the Monday stream, but we did Guitar Man. You should definitely go back and enjoy watching me fail at Master Mode so hard. You did all right um, in most of it, but man, Master Mode. Oh, were you? Okay. <clears throat> I had it chugging because I upscaled it to 5K and then downscaled it to 1080p. <laughs> so my computer was, was screaming at me. It looked amazing, though, gotta say. And finally, we have Game State, so you can join. Um, when last we left, I had named this save Cave Time um, because it's time for Cave. Uh, this is kind of the southerly portion of the map that we really hadn't uh, driven cave into time, yet. It's time for caves. Yeah, pretty much. We're so, we're so fucking original. <laughs> Today on Fantasy Game, we're going into Fantasy Cave. I hope there's not Fantasy Monster. God, my hair. I'm just realizing how long it is because it's like poking out the back of my headset. Yes. Shave your head. Shave your head. I don't know if I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Quickly pick through our shit. A million things and don't remember any of them. Uh, everything seems to be in order. I'm equipped. Equipped. I think we did a lot of maintenance last time, so I don't think there's too much to fuck about with. <clears throat> which yeah, it might be good for the most part. Yeah, which might mean we should just dive right into the last time on... Um, so we can get rolling into this her cave. We're not hot, Alex. We're warm. Just warm. Just for now. Warm. Nobody's on fire yet. So you're not using Gravedigger, by the way? What? The bow? The bow. Oh, um... Also, I'm really surprised that plus two finesse uh, necklace is not something you want. I just sent that to you. The one I'm wearing is strength, int, huntsman, and leadership, which is kind of necessary for a couple of pieces I have uh, equipped that require strength and stuff. Yes. <clears throat> um, I haven't been using Gravedigger because of that 14% crit chance bonus. I guess it's like it's going to do damage more consistently, but not crit as hard. I don't know. Anyway, um, without further ado, once again, shoutouts to Carnium. Thank you again for uh, last time on, and let's all get caught up together. Last time. God damn it. Last time on Hooked on Divinity. Our day began with the brothers doing a bit of tidying up and maintenance. Thrilling, I know, but on the bright side, Jafril and Losa finally leveled up in a timely fashion, preparing for the trials ahead. The brothers already knew the code to get into the council, but what a waste it would be to not at least take a peek at each of the temples. With that flimsy logic agreed upon, the brothers made their way into the heart of the elven temple. Inside, the brothers found the living, beating heart of the mother tree, guarded by an elven scion. The scion implored the brothers for help, explaining that a lizard assassin, the Prince of Shadows, stood on the island. The lizardous Doombringer meant to strike at the heart of the Mother Tree. The Scion demanded that he be stopped, and that the brothers bring back his head as proof. 
the assassin would be lurking about the Lizard Temple to the southeast of the island. Agreeing to her request, the party quickly double-checked the altar against Alexander's memories before heading back outside. Never ones to make haste when something important is on the line, <laughs> the brothers quickly wandered off track, finding themselves in the lava fields that made up the south of the island. Standing tall amidst the smoking ground was a massive metal tower, continuing up into the clouds. The brothers quickly made their way around the tower before reaching the vine-covered top. The majesty of this place froze Jeffril in place while his CPU, I mean lizard brain, caught up to the process. <laughs> Soon, though, both brothers had made their way up the giant beanstalk of a tower to the Sky Temple of Amadia. Making their way through numerous traps, portals, and Making obstacles, the brothers found and released a knight of Amadia, earning their rewards two temples down. Back on the ground, the brothers quickly found their way into a fight between Magisters and the Black Ring. Quickly allying with the side that chose not to shoot the new arrivals, the fight soon came to an end with the Magisters surviving. The brothers soon noticed that this battle had taken place on top of the altar of Rollick. Did I say two temples down? Scratch that. Make it three. Finally, the brothers made their way to the Lizard Temple of Zorstissa, finding the Shadow Prince there as expected. The Lizard freely offered that yes, he did in fact seek to destroy the heart of the Mother Tree. The Elves, he explained, were planting ancestor trees across the whole of Rivalon, preparing to one day use their powers to create armies of Dryads. The Shadow Prince claimed that a vast, invincible army would spring forth, leaving genocide for all non-elves in its wake. The brothers were inclined to listen until the Shadow Prince described his plan. He handed them a small box of Death Fog and asked them to plant it on the World Tree so that the fog may spread through the entire ancestral network, destroying it. To prevent a potential genocide, the Shadow Prince was advocating for creating one himself and using the brothers to do it. The brothers rejected his plan, not keen on using Death Fog to kill untold thousands. Quickly, the Shadow Prince attacked, flanked by multiple assassins appearing from the shadows. Dispatching the prince and his assassins, the brothers found on him letters and notes that seemed nefarious and demonic in nature. The entity ordering the prince seemed to desire the destruction of the elves to make sure another power could not challenge them, not to save people from destruction. The prince may not be wrong about the elven plan, but his way didn't seem much better in the eyes of the brothers. One thing is for certain, though. Neither side is telling the whole truth in this case, and it's time for the brothers to find their own angle to play. A fourth temple down, it's time to get back to work. Now back to Hooked on Divinity. All right. <clears throat> so we stand at the edge of this cave, Dave, and I noticed yeah, that you... First. I noticed you found... I was just kind of spinning my cir uh, spinning my camera in a circle a little bit, and you, I spotted that treasure chest out in the yeah, corner. I do indeed see that reliquary. Uh, if you want to try teleporting that with Losa. Can I teleport a thing? I believe so. Invalid target. Then how... <clears throat> Can we go down... I mean, we can go down there, but maybe you'd have to do death proof, and then I'd have to get oh, ready God. to teleport you. Yeah. Okay. Quick save. I want to try it. I want to okay. see if that just kills me. So I sure as fuck can jump to it. Yeah. Like if you can jump to it, loot it, and I'll be ready with Losa on a teleport. <laughs> get Fane, stay here. You don't want any of this. No. Save me! How the fuck did that work? Did I'm about to die from the fire, but... Oh! I made it! Well, that was close. What did you get? 
Uh, I got an amulet called Starstruck. I got a book for fire that I've never seen called Flaming Crescendo. And then, like, a couple thousand. Okay. Starstruck, Starstruck seems... Starstruck, that might be a plot thing, because it's just kind of named. It's like a common amulet. Yeah, worth 1,500. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about that. <clears throat> that that uh, went pretty well, though, I gotta say. Uh, all in all, that was handled pretty pretty handily, actually. It was seemed pretty good. Well, <clears throat> with our newfound wealth? Yeah, it was definitely hundreds of thousands of damage, I think. Like one oh, easily. Oh, wait, it probably shows in the combat log, right? Yes, you were hit for one or no ten thousand seven hundred and three fire damage on yeah. the surface. Yep, and we got uh, a flaming crescendo, starstruck, and two hundred and seven gold. All right, maybe hey, starstruck you know would what? be cool later. That worked way better than expected, so I'll yeah. take it. And that's got to be something important or useful. I mean, that's my thought. Right, like they hit it on the edge of the map in lava. Are you ready to go in this cave? Uh, yes. Cave time, it's cave time. It's nice and warm out here. <laughs> Alex, you, you might be right, but in the spirit of divinity, we made it happen. Yes, yeah. This is not quite the safest place I've ever been. Oh. Why is it not safe? We better Wait. find a way inside before it all goes up in smoke. And us with it. Uh, this is the dragon thingy. Oh yeah, I forgot that there are the tracks for the dragon cult that was all the way, like, going on everywhere. Yes, they were pointing in here. I mean... I'm a lizard. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go jump over that skeleton over there. See what's over there? An ancient inscription. I got five hundred and fifty dollars, some chest armor, and some hair. Ooh. Oh, cool hair! Great. That's what I always wanted. Hair. All right. Well, I can so I can loot the dragon's mouth, but I'm definitely gonna look at the inscription first. Countless symbols cover the stone tablet's surface, forging a riddle between several. A languages. Riddle between several languages. This sounds like we might need scholar fame. Uh, maybe. You make out one ruined line. The champion must offer a burning stone to the dragon's mouth. Wait. Remember the note you found in a dead cultist? Also, shout! I like the option for shout. shout! Burning stone! Burning stone! The cultist was ordered to it reach work, the nameless the isle and pass the dragon's test. It required placing a fire rune on the proper altar. Well, oh, we have tons of those. I happen to have. So do I? Do I? You think I put it in his I mouth? I think you probably just. I think you might just drag. Yeah, like there's this mouth up here. Yeah, I probably. think. All I have to do is just drag one of my fiery runes into it. Yeah. When I look at it, it says, Between the symbols is a remarkably simple answer. A burning stone, a rune of fire, must be offered to the dragon. Let's try just putting it in his you mouth. Place the offering there we go. Inside the dragon's mouth. Something in the dark seizes uh -oh. your wrist. Oh, no. The grip tightens to sheer agony. Oh, oh super no. Cold metal presses against you to soothe the ache. When you reach for it... Your fingers catch on a pair of greaves. You are over encumbered. As you pull the armor free, the bitterness of betrayal cuts through you. Ash clouds the room, hot as a forge. Oh no. You stand high on a black cliff, We're housing Zolstis's temple. Dying yet? Other lizards scream, declaring you a blasphemer. What'd you get? I'm I'm I don't know. I see you. I'm looking and at inside you, bags. you is the strength I've been The Devourer's for. Eminence. It's one of the Devourer's set. Does that is is this going to be for me if I activate it? No, no, it's strength based armor. You already have it in your pockets now. Oh, okay, so it's it's strength for sure. Yeah, I think the Devourer is looks like it's going to be the best strength armor in the game because the 5 piece set is a boost the item level to 20. 
and it Ooh. gives you berserk. Pops it out at level 20. And also it's plus three con, plus two warfare, set death leech, and unlocks picture of health, which is a feat. That's pretty sick. Um, this voice of flame, its sight is the strength I've been looking for. Uh, perhaps I ask who it belongs to. Patience. You must prove yourself worthy of such answers. Why all lizards and dragons gotta be so annoying, except for that one nice lady who was on the boat? Also Slain. Slain was pretty dope. That's cool. Slain was cool. Was abandoned. Slain is one of the I giant minis. I, uh, I caved and I bought the Divinity in. Original Sin 2 board game. Hmm. Uh, and by bought, I mean pre-ordered it. Right. Um, I didn't go for the expansions, but I think it comes with a gigantic Slain miniature. That's pretty but rad. Honestly, the, the minis were kind of... This is coming from someone who, who loves himself some fucking minis. They really had no impact on the game. They were just kind of like, instead of the card, you put the mini on top of it to go, ooh, and look oh, at it. Oh, so you didn't, like, use it as a play piece. You just kind of, like... No, and it already comes with, like, Losa, the Red Prince, if and Ben Mez, or however Mezzed. the hell his name is. That was close. It comes with all the characters, and... I don't know, it looks fun. Uh, so this guy said, I have to find the temple where the Devourer's loyal servant was abandoned. I will draw strength from there to speak again. The vision fades. Does the that mean to give us more Devourer's armor? And with it, oh, a, a cold aura, aura is appearing behind, behind us. Um, I wish your inventory was unlocked so I could move something so you don't start your turn over encumbered. Just, just in case he's... I haven't moved yet. Well, not that we're actually in a fight, but... Um... Let me sword so I can actually show everybody what the thing was. Devourer's Eminence. Good-ass armor. Con Warfare Death Leech. Don't know what that is. No Unlocks idea. Picture of Health. Oh, I'll make that to you. Preemptively. Okay. That so, might be the first piece. Oh, no, we have two of the five Devourer's Armor, I guess, now. I think so? I don't know. Wearing a piece of Devourer's. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't uh, sell it. I doubt it. I mean, it just, when you hover over it, it says two out of five now. I think the only armor that killed you if you didn't have the full set was that, like... What? Death Leech is after killing an enemy, your maximum vitality will temporarily increase. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, you, you can just put um, it on just, and have Death just, Leech. Yeah, yeah. I can just wear it. Um, absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's the other fucking piece we have? Uh, picture of health. That does. Extra vitality. Plus 3% for every point in warfare. So every point you have in warfare gives you 3% increased vitality. You have a giant. Yeah, giant I, already, I already have it technically, but. Oh, okay. I don't know what the other piece is right now. Um, looking at my inventory at stuff. E. Would have like an obvious. I mean, it says devourers thingy on it. See in the back. Oh, it's probably in your inventory because when I hovered over it. Well, I just sent them to you to test that theory. Okay. There's one out of five. Now it's back in your inventory. Yeah, mine says two. I don't know where this is. I guess I'll keep looking as we move. Okay. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I guess there wasn't a fight in here. 
Nothing hidden in the lava this time. No, I don't think so. Um, it said we had to find another temple. Pull up the quest too. Hey, are you wearing it? God, I don't think so. Devourer's claws. Gloves. So you did have it in your inventory or on your person. We have missed some. I don't know. House of Shadows. Fire rune. No, I don't think we don't think we missed any. The heart, the body armor, and the helm come in arcs. We had it says the devourer's boots are ours. Apparently, we. Oh, the okay, boots yeah, are the ones I just them. got. Yeah. No, we just got the we just got the belt. I found the the boots in my inventory. Devourer's boots. No, the the boots were the ones I just grabbed. So now we have uh, experienced a sharp longing to see a temple high on a cliff. Um. Oh, place of longing. It's on our map. <laughs> Do you see at the bottom right? Oh, I was still in the cave. I'm coming out. So we could go back to the elves, by the way. Um, and tell them that we indeed did not bring Death Fog to murder them. Um, the gloves come from Fort Joy for the Devourer's said. I wonder, I wonder if those gloves were ones we missed. Because I remember way back at the beginning, there was like a thing, some spirit, and it was, we were like, fuck you, spirit. And it was like, fuck you, I'm never going to, you're never going to have whatever. There's something inside Brachus's tower, you gain the Devourer's claws gloves. Then in Reaper's Coast, by the Dragon Incinerator Trap, there are the boots from the Dead Shady Digger. Those we got. We just got the belt. And then the other two come from Arcs. Oh. Well. Well, I'm going to be super fucking bummed if there's no way to get those. No way to recover the lost piece. So do you see now on the overworld map at the bottom right, there's a place of longing? Mm hmm I would assume that's another place that the Devourer wants us to go. Or... Assumably. Have to go. Um, but like I said, we may as well go back to the elves and be like, hey, here's what happened. Um, move along that plot, see if they respond. Oop. Oh. Last forest tiger is still here. Still a corpse. Yeah, about that. I think we have to go up to the heart of the mother. Assumedly. Go through this weird teleportamajig. to the elven scion. Yeah, I think that's the one. Good. Man, I sure hope the elves aren't going to be jerks about this. Alright, it's up to you to tell her. In fact, I should not move so that also, I think we fucked it on the best armor set in the game for me. 
Yeah, was it like the very beginning? Um, we fucked it twice in Fort Joy, and we should have like three pieces right now. We got oh. one in Reaper's Coast, but we apparently didn't get the Devourer's Claws from Fort fucking Joy. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Think the better of this. Yep. The Scion closes her eyes, as if listening to the great. I have no qualms about killing both. Just not with Death Fog. The mother is everything to elves. She is the mother of Elvendom. But she loves the world. To see the world hurt would pain her. Okay. Like a bear who protects her cubs, the mother will tear apart predators that threaten the elves. People like the Shadow Prince fear bears. They will kill them even if they do no harm, because they are afraid of the power of the bear. Okay, I mean... Seems like she's promising not to murder the whole world. Yeah, but not really. Because right now the elves think everyone threatens them. Ooh, I don't know. I want to kill the mother tree. Like I don't, I, I don't trust the, I don't, I don't trust the lizards I don't trust enough. Either of them. Yeah. Like I don't trust the lizards enough to, for us to just go and do their dirty work. The mother congratulates you on your choice. Now. Nah. From some awesome ass elven piece of armor. Her safety is assured. The mother is content. We get. 10,000 or 100,000? One chamber at a time. One, two, oh. three. Except I should have eaten this fucking her. heart. It may the mother permit. The Would rewards they offer us are garbage. Boo. I guess uh, a gingerbread man? Did she give you a gingerbread man? Oh, it's a wooden figure. Longshank's a pretty good dagger, but I don't really use him anymore. Provoker is not bad. I want to see what happens if I eat his fucking heart. I don't know. Uh, I would assume that that quest is closed. And I can still kill the mother tree. I guess we could still deliver a death fog bomb to the heart of the mother tree if we could find one. We have it in our pocket. Oh wait, we took it from him? He gave it to us. Fucking carrying around the death fog? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Send that ship shit to to the Lady Vengeance or something. I mean that that's a rip, and I think the elves are also trying to genocide the world. Once we become La gods. Last time I decided, last time I was like, okay, here's what I would want to do. I got yelled at by like 17 fucking people, so I'm just going to go on with my way. I ain't genocide in the world. I'm choosing the correct answer in the trolley problem to sack fly one person. In this case, one mother tree. <laughs> That's a complicated thing, though. The mother tree is like... And, oh wait, why am I walking anywhere? We can just fast travel. Uh, the mother tree is like a weird multiple being inherited something. I don't know how elves work exactly in this game. Uh, do we want to go bottom right or... Yeah, I guess we go Found bottom a troll. Right. Oh no. What's its name? Rug? Rug. I guess I'll go... Talk to him. He's he's currently uh, neutral, so that's. There's a wolf up there named Dagger. In front of a large ruby. Oh, and somebody just screamed. The ruby just yelled, "Stop that!" Did you hear that? No. Oh, I see what you're talking about, but. There's dagger and snout up there. Let's deal with the troll first. That would just. Hi, Krug. 
Stop. The troll leans in and glares at you with beady little eyes. His breath is like a butcher's offal bucket, left in the sun too long. No cave for you. Oh my god. Mention you had dealings with some of his compatriots before, Grog and Marg. Can he just trust me and let me pass? Uh um Do I I'll ask? Go for it. Alright. No care about other puny trolls. They are weak next to Krog. Nothing can defeat Krog. Hey, okay, I'm gonna... No. The troll right. crosses his arms across... I get sack of me every day to watch Cave. Not answer questions about Cave. Island keeps me strong, stronger than other... Go troll. now, or there will be Go pummeling. Now, or there will be pummeling. You know, I gotta respect you, Krug. Like... This, this guy is at least telling us that there will be pummeling. I tell you this already. I guard cave Hasty for chunks. sack of meat. Every day, a new sack filled with tasty chunks. Human, elf, lizard, all is good. Okay. Well, I we gotta get past him, right? Yeah, similarly. Okay. The troll grimaces and spits a melon-sized glob of flame Ew. onto the ground near your feet. That's very rude, Krug. No cave for you. Oh, okay. Well, my options are Strength Con and Wits Persuasion, so it's got to be Wits. Mm, probably Wits for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! The troll looks over you thoughtfully while one of his fingers rummages around his nostril. Cave for you. Well, that was easy. Told him that I'd get him a better deal on sacks of meat. Uh, he was okay with it. Um, I don't know where that cave goes necessarily. I don't know, let's find out. Wait for me! What's in the cave? Well, you didn't start screaming as soon as you went in, so I was at least... An empty cave with a bare altar. Strange. Thing significant looking about this altar. Yeah, so far this is the cave stream. Oh no. You can't make out any words, but you understand what you're hearing. Whispered tears, screams in the dark, blood, pain, blood, blood. The hand releases. A lot of blood? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You want me to stab myself? Oh. <laughs> Cut onto that a little earlier than I did. I mean, I just covered you in fucking blood. What do you want? Can you like? I'm gonna on try it? it again from a different angle. Do we have to put maybe? Do we have like any vials of blood or something? Where's the health potion? Is that just blood? It's red. I mean, I have most certainly covered this thing in blood at this the point. Very much so. All you can see is a smear of blood on its surface. And a hollow that seems to call for something. So it says you see a smear of blood on its surface, and a hollow that seems to call for something. Yeah, so I mean, it probably wants us to put something in it. Yes. I... I'm guessing we don't have the item yet. Usually the game is pretty good about being giving you the dialogue option if you have the thingamajig. Yeah. Krog, there, or Krog, there wasn't anyone in there for us to uh, complain to, so we're going to go look. I also like that his his like idle thing is he just kind of stares off in that direction, looks at the lava. Just pretending you can't see us. Yep. Um so those wolf boys up there, we have to get to from I think the, the top long way around. This is that's the lunar shrine, which is the like entrance to the council and shit. Yeah, yeah. There's the mountain up there, which is uh like where um, we're supposed to go. 
Over near the front of the Temple of Zorstissa is how we, or Temple of Tirsandelius is how we get up there. Okay. I think we've done all the temples, right? No, there should be more. We did Zorstissa. That was the, or wait, did we? No, I don't think we ever yeah, actually we... activated the Center. You don't even have to, you don't have to honestly. They're just marks on them. But we did Amadia. We did the one in the top left. We haven't figured out yet. That's the thing with the giant ass waterfall. Oh yeah. Um, we fucked up the black ring to the north. We did Tirsandelius. Yeah, all it says is like a blue thing. Oh, you have to you have to put on them comfy clothes. Actually, it's kind of funny. I try to avoid changing into like pajamas, even though you can't see the bottom half of me. Like, I try to keep shoes and jeans on while we're streaming because otherwise I start to get extra comfy and just kind of. Did I do my job in a bathroom? I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Stronger man than I. Get them bathrobe feels. Take me a bath. So there's some purged corpses over here we haven't looked at. Oh, hmm. I mean, this looks like an altar we haven't messed with yet. Yeah, and I mean, this is in the direction of the longing. So Yeah, that's why I figured we'd go down here first. Okay, fair call. Finally put uh, the pyramids in a consistent place for both Losa and me, so I can just pyramid over immediately. Much to the Temple left. Duna. Can we step over here? Oh, fun. Oh, but there's like... Fucking cursed fire clouds over here. Some that way has to... rarely stopped me before. Because um, there's a way to... Yeah, there's a thing up there. I'm going for it. Hang on. All the way through this complicated area, or oh no! Once yeah. you go up the, that's once you uh, turn the corner and go up. There's the relic. They think we don't have jump at this point. Fire will not stop me. Hey, scroll 350 bucks and a cursed firestorm grenade. You can teleport back to Blue Pyramid. <clears throat> um, not super impressive. I kind of would have thought that they would have given us something real fancy, but I guess the other reliquary wasn't real. Well, who the fuck's that? Person up there named the Watcher, and he's a skeleton. Oh, I probably like watching. Oh, and he's green. Wanna go talk to him first? Probably. I'm looking to see how we can get around to this nonsense way in the back. It's like a little camp thing, like over there. Yeah, way in the distance. Looks like a lot of jumping. Yeah, if you wanna go chat with the the nerd over there, yeah. I can start making my way over and seeing if I can get around. Let's see it with there is up. also a door at the back of this for like the Temple of Doom. Yes, yeah, I figured we were avoiding going directly in the door because it's that's a skeleton. Like right? a enemy. Nope. I want to save before you chat with that guy then. Yeah, I walked up to him and it said, "Looks like the Black Ring made Black Ring made a lethal enemy." Yeah. Yeah. Stabilizes after the save. He doesn't immediately talk to me. I go and up Losa fell on some fucking ice. Perfect, perfect. Generated corpse that's just a bone. It's kind of like a little offshoot from where we came from in the temple. 
Um, I guess you can pretty immediately teleport to me from out of combat if you want. If I need to. You approach an undead standing proud at the lip of a broken bridge. Understandably fearless of the fatal I'm drop, right she now. gazes into the lava sputtering below. Turning Mom, to I leave, can't come in. she motions to the black green corpses <laughs> at her feet. Classic lows have fallen over five times. Uh, Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Only thing I like less than Black Ring are trolls. Ooh, the Watcher does not care for Black Ring. I like this. Godwoken, okay. are I you? I like him. I like him so far. Godwoken, are you? Yeah, some Zoros is sh Or actually, no, Manasker. Yeah, they're, they're you wearing know. a name tag. I, I, I feel like every time somebody has said, you're Godwoken, right? We've been like, how the fuck did you know? And then they're every all... Time, dude. They're always like, uh, you know. You smell like it. Yeah, look like one. It's just something in the face. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, how? Easy. This is supposed I to be like ostensibly a secret a bit. Okay, well, the watcher says that, that they can see it on us like an aura. I see such things for I am the watcher. And I seek such things for Dagger and some boots a on a dwarven skeleton out oh, here. He's a seeker. Skeleton's a seeker? He looks a little deceased to be a seeker. I wasn't always as you see me now, but I swore an oath. This oath I defended to my grave, and I will continue to defend it until such time as the gods themselves deem it fit to end my vigil. The watch is pretty rad. I am Joe. Oh, one of the original Seekers. We swore to be Knights of the Council, Guardians of God Woken, and Defenders of Divinity. Together, we failed. But still, I try. Alone. Unless. She sighs dramatically, exuding impatience. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Duna has been cursed. Void runs through his veins where source once flowed. I am sworn to protect the council and all within it. Ah. That same oath renders me unable to lift a blade against the him. The Knight of Duna has been cursed, and he's a Void bro now instead of a source friend. Oh. I have found a bunch of random skeletons. I, I keep randomly here. seeing stuff entering your inventory, and I'm like, mm, wonder what that is. I've picked up two bows. <laughs> Dave's nothing. I didn't find anything. Oops. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I haven't found anything. <laughs> also, BRB, I gotta go to town. That was a mushroom. Pay no attention. Release the knight's good spirit from his corrupted shell, God Woken. Do this, and I will gift you with the last standard of the original Seekers. I uh, found the place of lying. Ascension, oh, cool. It could help you greatly oh. in the trials. The Watcher the wants us to release the the good knight's spirit from his corrupted shell. I can say, count on me to bring an end to the corrupted knight of Duna, and she'll give me the last standard of the original Seekers. Pretty cool. I'm in. My thanks, and the thanks of Duna's knights too. In life, I knew him well. He would hate to be like this. Bel okay. Well, I don't know where he is currently. Where the Knight of Duna is. Uh, but... I have, uh, I've, I've made some progress. Why did Gareth disavow us? Just so mad that we were like, hold on, let's talk. And he was like, no, fuck you. Yeah, I guess so. And you are at distance right now. Um, should I come to you, you think? Yeah, might as well. I mean, we can always group teleport back. Oh, yeah. Uh, what color are you, red? Yellow. Okay, well. So anyway, here's the altar. Yeah, well, what's a, after a brief trip through an incredible field of lava and fire and rock. Yeah, I'm gonna look at this two-handed axe. You go ahead and do other things. Fine. Look at these skeletons over here. I've spotted something. Ooh, Losa found a divine belt. 
And also somehow she saw a hidden thing to dig up before I did. Imagine that. I sent you a bow called Magical Lizard's Bow. Oh, another ancient artifact. Uh, I will send to Fane the... or did I send close accidentally? I'll send to Fane a yellow belt I found. It is bartering, leadership, perseverance, critical chance, dodging. No requirements. Bar what are you saying? Bartering? Bartering, leadership, perseverance, crit chance, and dodge. Um, Alosa, she should probably just put it on because she needs the armor too. Uh, her current guy gives 42. 120. All right, Losa, here's the belt. There's a little retribution, one lucky charm, a little initiative, and this some axe is like kind of better, but it's like it's initiative instead of strength, so it's really not what I want. It's not like perfectly set up. Um. Anyway, okay. So, what are these fire skeleton found? Followers of the you false preached the devourer's blessings. He would bring them to greatness. Searing pain. A stone hits your shoulder. A sharp oh, crack. Now. Another glances off your being skull. Stoned. Your world turns We're getting away. stoned and not the fun ah, kind. The fanatical soul. Hunted by Zolstis's followers, he fled back to the outlaw empress with the devourer's words on his lips. The Empress was the devil. Yeah, I'm not about to make an champion. intelligence persuasion check. <laughs> she made the path for those who would I think I've got a zero persuasion and an eight intelligence. It's not going to happen. Oh, you can speak you. common. Huge, invisible claws seize your throat. Just as you expect your Why do you have to, to choke stuff a into existence? Materializes in your hands. A gift of forbidden knowledge for my champion. A mere trinket How about some fucking gloves? to what I will give right. you. Your duty on this island is done. Two pieces of the armor remain in the greatest city ever built by mortals. One Ooh. lies in the lizard's enclave. The other in the hands of a man named Ken. And we have... Massive presence fades, but you aren't alone. A cold aura lingers nearby as the last ashes fall. Why is, what is this cold aura? I don't know. I, I see what you mean, Alex. So far, most of these like horrifying entities that have communicated with us have not exactly had the best of intentions. Uh, but we have managed to murder them in all cases so far. The Let's reliquary. See. Bones, which are worth fifty a pop. Bones. Can't. Cannot. We'll light the bonfire. We get a checkpoint. There it is. Okay, it's this. Yeah, but it also is going to respawn all of the monsters. No. Oh fuck! Turn it off, Dave. Oh god! Oh no! 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 Unkindle. <laughs> can Can you even unkindle? Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> Holy shit, check out this jump. Whee! We know where the hell you went. Oh, down here? Yep. Elven Skellingtons, Elven Skellingtons, more Vineys. Dwarven Skeleton who just had beer. Well, this spot definitely doesn't have anything buried in it. <laughs> but I might. Uh, Losa just lucky charmed a. Uh yellow helmet that's probably a you oh my gosh you just lucky charmed from eight thousand feet away yeah this is you with scoundrel pyrokinetic hydrosophus summoning finesse oh i see you've teleported over here yes hello <clears throat> well yeah that's way better than what i had on my head how does it look oh my gosh it still looks like fucking Dumb. I like all the junk in front of my face. I want my frills to be out there. 
world to see. The world needs them. I climb up here and then hopefully all of my roguish abilities will help me detect the hidden thing that might be buried right here. Yeah, I wish we could glam on the uh, captain's hat. Right, uh is the best looking hat and then they've only given me goofy looking shit so far. Close is fine. Oh no. I dug a very big hole, Dave. I found the world the 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 hole into the middle of the world. Hey. Okay. Katie Bear in the raid. Hello. What's up, friendos? You're all joining us at the exact moment as we go into our third cave of the stream and this one's just a tiny little hole, so that's uh Worrisome. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we're not immediately being destroyed by monsters. That's lovely. There could be a strong noble ant in here. I think that would be the best case scenario of what we found in this weird fantasy cave. So far, it's been much more the undead variety. I have, like, so many of these eternal artifacts, and we still don't know what they do. How we can make them in this stuff? Okay. Hello, friends. Uh, thank you all for coming. How did the rest of um, Fall Guys go, Katie? You guys get um, any of those so sweet, they sweet Ws? just made Fane disappear. What? I can like, I went to click on the door. The others must surely be thinking the same. After all, only one of you can ultimately ascend. Time for an honest oh, wait, discussion, no. perhaps. He, he's, he's like Fane not... Is talking to me? Yeah, he wants to have a chat. The academy. My oh shit, we found this his place academy. Was home once. Now I'm not sure what home even means. Oh, oh our skeleton friend. But I know one thing. I may you be got the last pants. of my line, nice. but the hope for my people lives on through me. I must try to save them. I must ascend. It is the only way to guarantee that my race will never be snuffed out. Um. Um. Uh, excuse myself. I need a little time to think about this. I think. Is is that something you can say? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Because if anything, I'd have to talk to him. For, for the the persuasion. Oh boy. This is so Fane is Fane trying to like leave the party right now? Or is it I mean he's not in the party right now. So I mean try talking to him. Yeah. Well, I'll throw up a new save. I believe it auto saved. Um roundabouts when we came in, but Okay, save success. Persuasion abilities go. The academy. This place, but I know I must have Okay. Finesse is clearly my best one. Yeah. Uh, no, I need five persuasion. How do I put this delicately? No. Heavens no. Damn no, a no for every day I was sealed in that tomb. Skeleton friend, no. I have traveled with you through good times and bad, but nothing you have done has made me think you are more fitting to wield divine power than I. Well, hell, uh, I'm not going to back down here. We, we are going to be the next god. You will ascend when you take divinity from my cold, dead... Well... From my hands. Aha, skeleton joke. Break a leg, God Woken. And I mean that most sincerely. What? So can we, like, not lose Fane from the party forever? They were kind enough to leave you with a backpack containing their stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah, literally his companion thing is gone. Okay. Uh, well, we'll reload this autosave. Uh, hmm. Losing our off caster would be, or our main caster would be really, really bad. Hey, thank you for throwing down the gift sub, Kargoth. Ha! Katie, I got one earlier, so I can do Nestor, but now you have one, so you can do my face being very, very excited. 
Like the opposite of what just happened. <laughs> yes, I am anti that emote of what just happened. Okay, so I'm in the cave, but you are not. Yeah, you can come back out. I mean, the question is, do we have the ability to get you up to five persuasion? Don't. How do, how do I get out of this cave? Okay. Um, do we have the ability to get me to five... I have. I just sent one. Losa a thing that. Did that have persuasion on it? Here's one, the wicked. No, her, that one is Lucky Charm. So I can put persuasion on my neck. <laughs> I'm not screaming at Nestor. It looks like I'm excited to see a pup. Uh, I also have a persuasion necklace. You already have that one, right? Yes, I have one with one persuasion on the neck. This also has one. So you have any gear with persuasion on it that I can pick up for one second? Oh, does some of the captain set have persuasion on it? Hold on. Oh, maybe it does. I gotta look through my backpacks. No, this is my food for later backpack. You have a food for later backpack? I do. Yes! Captain's charismatic coat, baby! Maximum charisma, the donk, and then with this neck piece I can put on, the dank. I have too much, yeah, to, carry too much to carry. I'm a tiny, weak little lizard baby. Here's some more junk I don't need, Dave. So you can carry. I'm not even at half of my capacity. I'm at 136 out of 120. My god. I need, I really need to dump a bunch of stuff. I don't need this mortar and pestle. I don't need this empty potion bottle, rope. I'm also just selecting the store on Lady Vengeance option on a bunch of things. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I can probably do that with a lot of these. <sighs> yeah, I suppose sellables, or whatever the eternal plates are, I think those are significant. Those we can make in the stuff. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Vengeance. Pity Vengeance. Anything, the rings. God. How close am I now? 126. Sort by weight. Here is seven nail bomb grenades, and we're good. Okay. Okay. Uh. Or Persuasion five. Whew. All right, please go make Finn not leave our party for. All right, I'm gonna do an, an entirely new save. I would have thought, like, that it would have been completely impossible to persuade him. And if that's the case, like, would you have to go back to the Lady Vengeance and pick up one of the randos? I mean, I guess so. All right, I'm back in the cave. Same. Click on the door. Okay. The doors. I would bork with Nestor. That sounds like a fun idea. To the council. One step closer to divinity. The others must surely be thinking the same. After. Why is Losa talking to me now? So, I guess this is it. What? I can't see two ways about it. I need to be myself again. Finally. I can't risk getting shut out by this no, demon. Losa, you don't understand. You can't leave the party. Yeah. Because we literally are your best choice of yeah, if best you, chance to get rid of the demon. If she ascends, the demon becomes god and she it gets to keep me quiet, tossed in the garbage to case. in place of me. I... I need to make sure I'm strong enough that I wonder if you have to persuade her again. and then I won't let it make me silent. Did, we didn't like skin. accidentally skip to the council or some shit, did we? I need to ascend. 
I don't think so. It's the same thing. I mean, try to go finesse again. Yeah. Make sure you're taken care of. Persuasion success. Let's do this. Hooray! She said, let's do this, which is the most loathsome way to respond to something really I, meaningful. I wonder if Fane is going to try and dip as soon as I click on it. Yep. Losa has backed my claim on divinity. She'll stand by me at the Well of Ascension. Uh, should I just talk to Fane then? Yeah. The Academy. I wonder this if this is setting it up so you're going to have allies at the end if we I have to fight. Last of my and I don't. I must it is <laughs> it's so funny that you can just say, you know what? You're right, Skellington, man. You should be God. Hmm. Perhaps you do know best. That is the most unfeigned like line I have ever heard. Admitting somebody else knows best. Curious. Yeah, I don't know I about sure that. I would burst into flames <laughs> <if I had>, <laughs> They knew. Words. They understood. Oh. I was sure <laughs> I would burst into flames if I ever uttered those words. Come, Godwoken. Let's claim your destiny. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so journal was updated with Fane and Los. Yo, we don't want to be here yet. What's happening in there? This is the council. That's... Oh, it said the council academy? No, maybe that's different from, like, the actual thing we wanted to be in. But this is a big-ass dungeon. Oh, boy. Yes, we entered the academy, the first section of the Council of Seven. We ma we now must find our way to the Arena of One. This apparently seems to be the back way into the academy. Okay. Oh, you can have Fane back. Oh, wait, I have to actually, like, uh, give you Fane back. Later. Can't talk now. Also, none of them will talk to me. Oh, you've just reassigned a character who was recruited by an avatar. Keep in mind, the story arc for the character can only progress if it is assigned to the original recruiter once more. Lending characters out is not a problem. Just make sure they are returned to the original avatar to continue their story arc. Okay. So... So Dave gets one character now. Fabulous. <laughs> it's Dave versus me and Losa and Fane. I mean, I still don't understand how the actual quest for divinity is supposed to happen. And also, aren't we supposed to go to arcs too? Like, we just skip ahead to the Nameless Isle or is the arcs after this? <clears throat> arcs is after this. Okay. I don't know what that means. All that stuff. Yeah, you've asked that like 17 times. Arx is Act 4. Yeah, yeah, I... Keep seeming like it's supposed to have happened already. Well, so we definitely don't want to go in there, is what you were saying. Well, I'm thinking that we don't want to do that yet, because that's the way to progress to the next act. And I also kind of like going in the front door if we're gun. <sighs> I'm just annoyed that this round has gone 0 for 2 on me. A, we fucked up getting the best armor set in the game for me. <laughs> and B, <clears throat> now I have no characters that I'm allowed to keep. Because you're going to have to keep Fane in order for him to get uh, his story progressing. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what it means. Uh, through that door for Duna's sanctum. Oh, yes. We got to go take on the Knights of Duna. Um. Is there a helpful little... Oh, no. There's a granite protector. I was looking for a helpful little animal who lives down here who can tell us the secret. Well, this looks like a little battle dungeon. Um, also, I don't know how we would have possibly kept this won't be of any use them from leaving if you, if we didn't have persuasion. Like, I have a base three persuasion. No idea. 
I don't know how there would have been any way for you to have maintained character. A voice that is not your oh. own rises within your skull. This uh, giant gold face is talking to me. You are no child of Duna. Leave now or face his wrath. Okay. Well, it basically told us to get out of here, which we've literally never done when somebody has said get out of here. Yeah, it's literally never worked. <laughs> Not gonna happen. What the heck? Statues coming to you life. just smacked me as I ran by, apparently. A little damage to you, but not that much. Oh, look out, Fane! You gotta move Fane. He's just gonna get keep. He's getting, getting punished for his insolence. <laughs> you go sit over there. Bonk. and You think about what you did? Purged corpse over. Here. Oh, nothing interesting. Well, this won't be of any use. Every broken vase in the game, they allow you to click on it. Garbage. You just say, this is nothing. Fuck you right back, bitch. <laughs> Stupid vase. No, I just bashed the statue to pieces. Oh, okay, yeah. Our arrow and nine bucks. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything of note in any of these things out front. Anything else to click on aside from the guy who said, hey, get out of here. Um, hill section? Punch me. Punch me. Don't punch me. Ouch. I mean, he's gonna. Pyroclastic eruption. Is it a it's new a geomancer crazy skill? Well, there's a bunch of these granite protectors. You missed a few bases. No. Getting slappy in my old age. <laughs> that juice like halt. Ow, 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 ouch, ow, ow, you're so strong. What the hell? You right. make it through my armor. Or a statue. Bloated corpses have nothing in them. Oh, there's an energy chest and a broken sarcophagus. Just really hope these things aren't supposed to help us. They haven't been so far. I wonder if, um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if a bunch of Void Woken are going to come in and they would have been helpful to stop the Void Woken. Now we don't have any problem killing. Haven't had an issue so far. Negative. Alright. Time to touch this thing. Fire resistance potion, 158, and a giant. Leave that so Fane can take the giant poison. Remember, you can just right click on items to hit send. To. Oh, I can just send it right to. Alright, well, there's a bunch of more. Bases, buzz, buzzes. The fuck's happening? Ah! Ah! You still ah. did not get hit by any of that. That's a good job. The only one I, <laughs> I only got Losa hit for some. You know oh. who doesn't give a shit about any of that? Our boy Fane. And loves his poison. There a button you can hit, perhaps. That's what I'm looking for, but I don't see anything. Time to make the run. Just teleport.
With great ah. fists, also, the we need to give them the back the teleport pyramids. Ring. I think I put both the of them in your inventory. Um, Rivulets of blood trickle so the, the Knight of horizon. Duna apparently activates at 200 yards, so he's now pounding his own helmet rhythmically and blah blah blah. Okay, I need to teleport over to you. Also going to red roll for... Can you send back the teleporter pyramids? Um... Losa does not have them. Can I still access my... Uh, it's fine. I'm, yes. I got over here. Um... I got faints back. You took it out? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, green. Uh, blue. Alright, I'm gonna talk to him. Or I'm gonna continue talking. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good Come fake laugh. Hear my joke. What is it that I've got? Well, I mean, we can joke about it, or we can say the Temple of Duna. Mm. Joke about it. Well, being ha, you'd be the same if you saw what he showed me. Oh no. He leans forward. Glimpsed beneath the crumpled helmet is a mangled face and crazed, unblinking eyes. Oh boy. It's all a joke. There's nothing to guard. Only lies. You'll see for yourself once you're dead. Okay, well, once again, I'm with a persuasion, and it's I actually... I can tell you, um, your con is 16, your memory is 17. Okay, just barely. Okay, memory, per memory persuasion. Ugh. The Knight of Duna's features slacken. He looks almost calm, but the moment passes... And his maniacal scowl creeps back. Got him for a second. No more talking. Hear me? There's only I'm one definitely way this wits. will end. <laughs> the knight bows his head and exhales. When he looks up once passing again, there's flicker of lucidity. different in his eyes. A passing will this be the first lucidity. time we can actually bless somebody to get rid of their ailment? God, maybe. Godwoken, I see you now. Pray to the altars. Don't let the void consume the world. Yeah, I did not change my equipment back, by the way. Um, kind of forgot before we ran in here, so I guess it's good because persuasion. The madness will return. I won't let myself become a danger to you. Uh, is he killing no himself? One. Uh, yeah, he did. What? What? Okay. Well, I mean, it's an automatic way to, to I guess deal that's with one that. Way to do it. Yeah, right. Oh, the fanatic is here, and oh, is the fanatic because that's what helps us do the uh, bower armor thing? I don't know. You can try talking to it. A lizard spirit bows deep before you. His taunt. May the devourer bless your endeavors, champion of the dragon. Uh, okay, yeah, he's. Uh, ours. Uh, what's up, spirit the of the Knight cursed Knight of Duna? He's more composed than his late corporeal form. His helmet rests in the crook of his arm, revealing an august dwarven face, faced with worry. I had to end myself, Godwoken. Death was the only cell for the madness foisted upon me. You didn't even let us try to bless you. But these fiends resurrect those they have use of. Please, consume my spirit. I don't want to come back. What? I don't want to be their slave. Well, this is the first time this has ever happened. He wants me to consume his spirit. What happened to you, first the of all? The Black Ring came and sacked the temple. The one that leads them, the Sallow Man. He cursed me. A curse of madness and terrible visions. Did we murder the Sallow Man yet? Nope. The spirit averts his gaze with a shiver. I will not say it. It would be blasphemy to even utter the words. 
The sallow man is a trickster, a deviant. They must have been lies that he concocted. They must be. Well, I can say I don't want to consume his source. Please. I failed my duty and let myself be corrupted. I don't know if he's asking you now, to. Now I'm maybe. just a potential weapon to be used against you. Once. Grant me oblivion. All right, peace out, Gargoth. Thanks for coming hey. and uh, chilling and throwing down that sub, too. Now I can say Katie Bearstow follows the D-pad. Ew. Which we are to so D close to, four, uh, to 500. Oh, followers. my gosh. So close. Will it be you, <sighs> random person from the internet? Will you be number 500? Winner. Ooh. Of nothing but love and adoration. Yes, a gentle round of applause from everybody. I'm. I don't want to eat this dude's spirit. A pained look flashes across the spirit's face. As you will it, God woken. Well, I took the four oil flasks that were on his body. Okay. Don't know what those are for, but I don't know it's some oil. <laughs> Just oiling it up all good. I be... mean, he's kind of asking you to. <laughs> You're uh, when you're guarding you a sanctum, to, you gotta be oiled up and ready. Uh, I'm, in my head, I'm calling it. He had to oil all the granite statues. Oh, hmm. that's a fucking pretty good supposition, there, Dave. That's that's the DM and me making that leap. No, legit. I that I was like, oh, that's something a dungeon master would do to be like try to provide a hint or something. Um. All right. So he also asks us we can access the. There's little I can do to help you. Uh, but... It's the altars that have that power. Bow to the altar of Duna, and to those... I... I was not worthy. I failed the gods twice over now. All I deserve is nothingness. Oh, you shouldn't doubt your self-worth, home I... slice. I was not worthy. I betrayed my own nature. Well, that's not great. I made a pact with a demon. Yeah, uh, what? Alex, so the, the revelation was he was carrying a shit ton of oil, and my guess is he had to oil the statues rooms, that moved. And I was rejected. I begged them to let me serve here on the island to pay penance. They should have cast me into the sea instead. Uh, Consume his source. Oh my god, he's, he's asking you to. Yeah, but he's like, I'm such a piece of shit. Please kill me. And I'm like, no. I mean, we think he'll just hang out here forever. I mean, probably. I'd like. The night spirit. I don't deserve to be on this sacred isle. I don't deserve to be anywhere. I don't want to like consume his spirit because the the watcher is like back waiting for us, who asked us to to take take him out. And if we go back to her and we're like, yes, <laughs> we 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 killed him, and then we slurped his mortal soul I mean I can jump back to the uh, see if they say anything see if it's anything different that's something that turn up oh no thing I poked oh it's a chair that faces the corner oh I understand perfect It's like, what is this strange device as I sat down in it? How do I use this chair? I've never seen one of these before. I can just click on you and yes, I can gear up too. Now we get to watch as Dave plays Leapfrog. Only one. Going around the fucking ice. Our mortal enemy in this game. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Ooh, I like her. Anything I like less than black ring a Oh, she's saying the oh same boy, thing. Do I have some news to God you? Woken, are you? She said the same thing to I me so. when I first talked to I her. I see it on I see such things, for I am the watcher. And I seek the Meister. She bats one's skeletal hand in a truly derisive fashion. Her crackling laugh sounds like dry leaves whirling in the wind on an autumn night. <laughs> The oh yeah, definitely crackling leaves. A pale imitation of the tradition they sought yeah, to revive. 
I am one of the original seekers. We swore to be knights of the council, <laughs> guardians of Godwoken, and defenders of divinity. From now channel your inner Final Fantasy X and give us your Together, best laugh. Together, we failed. But still, <laughs> I try. Alone. Unless she sighs. <laughs> I love that. You do the same option as me. Like, no, I'm not taking your bait. The night of oh, fuck you. You finish cursed. your story. Tell me what you need Void to tell me. runs through his veins where source once flowed. I am sworn to protect the council and all within it, but that same oath renders me unable to lift a blade against him. Release the knight's good spirit from his corrupted shell, Godwoken. Do this, and I will gift you with the last standard of the original Seekers. If you seek ascension, okay, so it, at least it could does... help you greatly It's going to be like a fucking spear or something. Why, how marvelous. I knew your Godwoken spirit was strong. Alright, Watcher, now don't betray us or else I'm Except going to teleport. With my thanks and the thanks of all those I served alongside. The blessings of the original Seekers upon you. She hands you a small yet heavy trinket, crafted of tarnished metal. Hmm. Though cold, it feels comforting to the touch, like a worry stone or a familiar childhood toy. Okay. Staff wand, bronze scale armor, more magical legs. Um, oh, is she setting? Is she, it's a set of reward offering, huh? Yeah, the staff's the best one. And then the Watcher's amulet grants guardian angel, whatever that does. Um, I don't think I've heard of that ability. Allies in melee range redirect 50% of received damage to you. Really? So in unfortunately, melee range? the rest of it fucking blows. Oh. Like, well, just compared to what I'm wearing, because my when necklace gives me four strength. I don't deserve to be on the sick. And this is plus one retribution and Grant's Guardian Angel, so, like, maybe if we need it. Yeah. Uh, but that seems to be the end of the watch request. Okay. If we come into a particularly difficult section where we, like, keep getting pasted. You can just teleport out if you want. The yellow one. Osa comes with me this time. If she's linked up with you and right next to you, yeah. Um, so that is dwarves down. We got that thing in the top left we haven't messed with. Yeah, you want to go back and poke at it and see what the deal is? I do. All right, the beach is the closest. Kelly. I've ever heard it make that. Walk, walk, past exploded bodies. Fucking exploded bodies everywhere. Yeah, indeed. I feel like we may have ended off a stream one night after having done this, uh, thing. Whoa, we definitely didn't walk down here and the water didn't go away last time. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. Well, first I'm taking these fish. Oh, and there's a confused crocodile over there. Excuse me, sir. Taking these fish. A saltwater crocodile looks around, seemingly disoriented. It spots you. Hello, sir. Where the water go? Why does my head hurt so much? It'll be trans. <laughs> it was transported from the sea through a portal. The shore isn't far, though. The shore, yes. I like the chub fish. The yes. flavor text is it smells like hell, but it tastes like not starving to death. <laughs> the crocodile slumps down and closes its eyes. Ugh. I could like very easily carry you to shore. 
Yeah, do you need a hand? Remains slumped where you left my head. Okay, it still seems bad shape. It doesn't have any obvious like Yeah, what if you offer to rub its belly? The crocodile gla that only works. Only works with alligators, alligators, Jeff. Duh. <sighs> I'm now so dumb. leave me alone. Ugh. Okay. Well, sorry, confused crocodile. I hope that you have a good walk back to the shore, which is right over there. This is Vrogir's enclave, which seems pretty big. True. The greatest sandwich ever made is the sandwich you made at home before you went on the four-hour hike and now it's lunchtime. What kind of garbage are we going to go through in here? It's a soaked book. An old fable of Rogir. Well, that surely won't be... No way well. that's going to matter. And when Vroger stood against the enemies of the orcs, fit of body and mind, he had but one aim in mind, to crush them into darkness. Yet that was not to be the wave of it. For Vroger came enlightened that very night. He received a vision bathed in light, in which he saw that leading his enemies to the light of the truth would turn them from foe to friend, strengthening his forces and gladdening the hearts of his people. And lo, did Vrogir wake and follow the path of light, and from then on, light did shine on Vrogir on all his sons and daughters. Vrogir, book three, wake, bake, and preach. Vrogir <laughs> yeah. sounds like the chillest god we've ever heard of. I've got an ancient key, but I don't know what it unlocks yet. God damn it, I have so many keys that are useless in my in inventory. Looks like this place gave the black ring a bloody nose. Let's be careful ahead. You jump this up behind here. In reading this says, if I understand this correctly, it reads, walk safe. Yeah, that's where I got the key. Walk hmm. safely in Vrogir's path. If I path. understand this correctly, it reads. What would Vrogir's path be? First of all, we're going to unchain Losa. <clears throat> Music in here is nice and jangly. <laughs> yeah. Too, 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 too. I have an idea real quick, though. Okay. So, in my head, gods are all about, like, rising above. So I'm gonna... Nope, did they catch me? Is it all exploding? No. Nope. Fuck yo, puzzles! <laughs> Uh, I mean, is this this empty? I I thought you were gonna jump onto the tops of each of the pedestals. No, nah, just going around. I've spotted a secret for you to dig up. Actually, I have a shovel. I got it. Oh my god! No, the one thing I do. It's just an internal artifact. Uh, there's some orc priests and orc priestess bodies over here. I want to teleport Fane. Might be... The fuck? What did you shoot at? I don't know what it shot at. I just I just clicked it. Last time we clicked a ballista, we half killed somebody. But it was good. Yeah, but that was... Yeah, that was a good thing, though. Yeah, no, I'm not saying did anything bad. I'm just saying that's interesting. It shot at the middle pedestal. We will probably have to go look at that in a few. Oh, I guess shall I offer up a prayer to... Might as well. The altar sits before you, defiantly silent. You see the image of a sun crudely carved into the rock. Oh, it says the altar is right there and there's a sun on it. Three. 
The altar sits before. Does Fane see anything different or something? Nope. You may with this thing in the wall, though. Brogir's culture was so focused on brutality and violence, yet they write so beautifully of it. <laughs> well, I guess that's good to know, okay. Fane. Thanks for the history lesson. Some blue thingy over here. An ancient looking lever stands ah. before you. It's still damp from the recently receded flood. An ancient looking lever stands before me. There's it a small definitely slot opens the door immediately the next to you. Ah, Almost there's a like small slot. Uh, shall I pull it? You ready to go? Sure. I put the key and pull the lever. A deep rumble heralds the wall beyond sliding downwards, a hidden door. Not particularly hidden based on the fact that there's a glowing blue lever. I get what you're and saying. A giant fuck off door over here, yeah. Yeah. Like this chest over here is better hidden. Oh, nice. Uh, nothing over here. Yeah, nothing over there. All right, well, whatever's through here. Armory, huh? Oh, down to that. So there's some spike traps and shit all over the place. I've already identified a few. Oh. Careful now, that's a trap. Lucy looks pale and unfocused. Ooh, Knight of Rogier's Boots. Plus three strength, plus one two-handed, plus a quarter movement. And yes, gives please. you Enrage. I already know that, but yes, please. And to Dave. And some good shoes. Oh, my god. Shoes. You're not taking the fucking tooth. It weighs nothing. It's worth 35 gold, Jeff. This is why I have all the money. <laughs> I don't need teeth. How do you think we've been funding this war effort? Teeth and bones. Bones, teeth, and... A lot of cups. Ouch. A lot of paintings, too. It's true. Real big on stealing every painting on the walls. Uh, just a cup and some money over here. Okay. Triggered a couple traps with my face. They're not that bad. Hurt, but um, can definitely get across. Yeah, what is this big, like, towering, glowing thing? Have we talked to it yet? How are you towering, glowing? Up, oh. turn it on and off. Yeah, it's probably just the light. They're big on that. And it's somehow way less than I expected. Mm. I'm just waiting to finish jumping across. Yeah. Did most of it, like... Uh, no. Ooh, a yellow two-handed sword. Ooh. Helmet, diamond, static cloud arrow, wand, and money. Well, oh, that's a giant huge chest. Um, so we it's hit basically the same thing I have, but more damage and cleave. What? That's amazing. <laughs> Just two good things to add to your abilities. You should, yeah, from my damage goes from between those boots and everything. I went from 474 to 492. Add the boots and the weapon before I slot something. And I'm at 562 to 611. Dang. Take out this large masterwork rune of power. Put it on in there. Lot it on in there. Now we're up to 640 to 700. Oh boy. 
Insta dunk. Some of it is going to be air damage now, but. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having shock damage on your uh, weapon. Better one for fame. Worse helmet for me. Here's a staff for Losa to check out. Active? Crap can be killed, but it has like 28,000. Yeah, it has a colossal amount of health. Magical Elven Staff. It is 16. Yep. Divine Reckoning is still the dopest. Go figure that Alexander's Staff be a uh, really good caster staff. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Um, I guess that's it for down here. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we got all the tombs. I feel like that one with the yellow sword is kind of the big thing. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to figure out the secret of this place. Which what? We still have to figure out the secret of Vrogir's altar. Well, I mean... How do you mean? Like, clicking on it? Yeah, don't, don't we usually, like... Get some sort of communication or something. The altar sits before. I was just curious, so I ran down here and like, yep, definitely explosions. But just explosions. Oh, we have to. We have to set all these things on fire. This, this may actually be a puzzle after all. Those ones shoot arrows. Which one did you do that made an explosion? Very certain that was from something being on fire. Because, like, all of the, the little, like, Crap outlets were burning. Yeah, from an explosion from like a mine on the ground. Oh, okay. The rest of it just seems, those seem to just be intersection points that get like hit by arrows. Cause like, if I just go running. Yeah, mostly just arrows. Other than that, like I, yeah, I see explosions. Okay, and it did light it on fire. But I think it just lit it on fire. I don't think it's anything special. Can you jump to the top of that? Well, it looks cool, but I don't know if it's actually significant. I don't really think it did anything, yeah. All right, well, maybe the god of the orcs care. Yeah, could just not give a shit. Careful, I spotted a trap. I sent our scaly phoenix egg to the Lady Vengeance. Oh yeah. Same with the Death Fog. I bet they'd be real excited for that to show up. No, no, no. Go for a. A truck. <laughs> okay, I'm heading out. <laughs> Alright, she tanked through it. Nope, oh, this is back to the armory. Never mind. Wrong way. Dead roll? <clears throat> I'm through the traps. Yeah, I don't really see anything else of significance in here. Neither do I. Mm. Really?
Yeah, I don't know. Exit. Got anything new Did to say? Do the, the shrine design it. Mine. Stop thinking about that crocodile. Did we do the Shrine of Zenteza? I don't know. Yeah, it seems to be. There's a bunch of... Oh yeah, this is where there was the pedestal with the sword and shit. An empty pedestal stands before you. From the... Oh, did they take... Anathema or whatever it was, the cool ass sword from here or something. We did. It's a one hander, so we haven't used it. I thought we got that underground. Oh, the eternal storm blade, yeah, we got that underground, you're right. Yeah. Well, I I think we're mostly done in this area. There's nothing more up northeast. Uh, no, and I'm assuming we cannot get onto their boat. Oh, the the black ring? Yeah, that's not yeah. outlined territory. Yeah, Maybe it we... doesn't even actually let you scroll over there. We could go look at the camp to see if there's some, like... No, we the... were definitely already down there. Cool ass boat. That cloud of poison. That big fucking turtle. Was a jerk, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with this boat. Well, we've done quite a bit here. Do you want to try going in the front door of the, like, up near the lunar shrine? Sure. Um. There are those wolf things as well that like. Oh yeah, we can we with that guy. We can try jumping up there. There was somebody stuck in a ruby, I think. Uh, we don't actually need to jump. Um, you want to head to the north, like where I'm going, yeah, or south where I'm going. Nope, north. I was right the first time. Nope, not this far. Oh, dead magisters. Paladin. And black ring reavers and black ring... Oh, there is a vines up here. I guess they have to make everywhere accessible that's important. Without jumps, yep. Yeah. Oh, you're 100% going to miss a lot of the secrets if you don't have a way of getting around. But... For sure. I feel like the teleport um, gloves. If you want to go up here and bang a right, there's also a bunny you can talk to named Bunny. Bunny, come here. Bunny, come here. Bunny, stop. Nope. Hi, the giant. Ooh, I feel like Bunny might explode on that. I don't know what that ground's gonna do. I want it to come back to me so I don't have to go all the way down there. Bunny, don't move. The bunny gives you a dazed look, like he's not oh, all there. Bunny is out of it. Yeah, what, wow, what a shock, yeah. <laughs> you all right? Huh? What? Oh, hi. So, yeah. Hey, here's the thing. Don't get too close to the sticky out thing with the shape thing near the door. Thing's dangerous. What a shock. Uh, bye. Don't get too close to the sticky out thing with the shape near the door. That's dangerous. Well, it's because each of these we have to, like... See, you have to either have the sun symbol or the moon symbol. Oh, These yeah. Things change. Okay, well, that's going to be a puzzle. We'll get to that in a minute. minute, yeah. Um, Yeah, there's that way. This looks like the other way to the Watcher, so... Yes, yeah, yeah. I ended up jumping up from the edge down there, but... Um, yeah, Fane refuses to speak with me now. If I click on him, he says, No offense, but I'd rather speak to the one who recruited me. Really? Yep. What? 
I mean, we'll have to try and go to the Lady Vengeance and dump him from the party and have me have him rejoin. Do you want to do that real quick? Can't talk now. I try to talk to me, says can't talk now. Do we just get a... I, I mean, look, if I click on him... It's nice to chit-chat, but I'll save serious conversation for the one I agreed to work with. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, since we just got this uh, waypoint, why don't we try to go back to Lady Vengeance? See if we can fix that now. Let me try to save before we do so. Oh, fucky. You can put a price on the warriors I have for hire, but you can't put a price on the glory they'll win you. Who's the person we leave people with? Is it this lady right here? She lets you like create mercenaries. Try just talking to Fane and being like, chill here. Can't talk. Now. Okay, I gotta take him back in my party though. Fane. I don't see that kid we sent to find antlers anywhere. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this all looks familiar. Okay. Uh, go our separate ways for now, at least. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Yes. Yes, I can imagine it might be somewhat. Go on then, play it. No one's ever regretted having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that. All right, so Fane's walking around over there now. Is he just gonna disappear? Right, or is he? Oh yeah, okay. He got on the boat and just appeared. It, it did not let you click on him, I'm guessing? No. As soon as I dismissed him from the party, he was no longer, like, interactable. I don't know if he'd be, like, waiting for uh, us. Divinity or... Original Sin 2. Fully multiplayer, multiplayer compatible until things start to matter, at which point suck my dick, player 2. I just reload the save and just keep Fane in your party, I guess. Well, but but you have control of him. But the thing is, if he's not under you, we won't ever be able to advance his plot line or anything like that. Oh, I... yeah, exactly. That's what I mean by I got fucked. Well, I mean, you would never have had the persuasion to keep either of them, which is the unfortunate part. Like, if I was playing this game solo and had two other characters, and was, like, all melee, no, like, you know, uh... This gets me to the beat. Um, if I was, like, you know, the, the meat shield or something, and there were other characters, how would I ever keep them if I was playing single player? Um, yes, I will. Party management. Bane. This is the first time I've ever been like, this game's fucking bad. Uh, alright, well, Dagger and Snout are down here. Um. Yes. Ruby was definitely yelling not long ago. So, no, I'm just going to talk to him. Two black ring wargs, heaving, stinking mounds of gristle and malice, play like puppies with a large crimson gem. Yeah, do I reach out to pet the nearest warg, reach for the gem, or leave them to it? I guess I'll try to pet the nearest warg. <laughs> Away now, imp thing from imps was on a thing. It was on a thing. You remember the empty plinth at Zantessa's? Oh, temple? the plinth at Zantessa's temple. That was my guess. Ruby blood, yada yada. Burned eye man wanted it. Kicked us. We ran. <laughs> Good job, Snout. Wait, I thought it was Scout. Oh no, it's Snout. 
It's ours, the M thing. Let's give him some God meat. stars in. Yeah. You got any food? Maybe there is food. Ah. Uh, I could say we killed the burn die man. His body's on the beach. There's their food. Sure. That seems very efficient. He's dead. The burned eye man. That's good. He kicked us. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's go. Got stars you can in play it. With the thing now. He's got stars in. The beasts amble away, leaving the gem behind them. Well, bye, Snout and Dagger. That was the ending that I had hoped for. Pick up this one. The gem feels both oh. extremely hot and extremely cold, and yet sits comfortably in your hand. Within the crimson crystal, a galaxy of a stars seems to twinkle. Galaxy stone, and like from uh, a strange and wondrous realm. What do you call it? Uh, a Men in Black. What was it? The Andromeda Stone or something? The stars swirl and move uh, and form a face, the face of an imp. Looky, looky, looky here. What's red and black and blue all over? What's red and black and blue all over? I can say I was born with riddles as a child, or I can say sounds like every wanted poster of myself I ever saw. That was it. The galaxy is on Orion's belt. Thank you, Mephistopheles. Um, I'm gonna go outlaw, I think. Sure. Roundly, 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 round. Your eye decides. Your eye. Now, looky, looky, looky here. If you have three eyes and take away one, how many eyes are there? Last chance. How many eyes? What's Two, one, three, or bullshit. I don't know, because you, you gave like a snarky answer the first time. My eye decides my eye. If I have three eyes and take away one, how many eyes are there? I mean, I would answer with just one of the noble or outlaws or that kind of thing. Those are generally more fun. <clears throat> well, I just don't know if, there, if there's a right answer to the riddle. I mean, the obvious one, but that can't be. That's I guarantee it won't be right. That's where there's think on it. Take away one, you have one. I, but it's just one, two, or three. I would just go with the... I don't think there's. it's going to have a right answer, is okay. my guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll go outlaw then. Haunt the ruby. Oh! Right, you're right, you're right, you're right! <laughs> Dave, you were yeah, so okay. right. The, the, the way it was talking, it's not going to give us a right answer. The face dissolves, and the stars begin to swirl. Oop. And so too does your head, as you are taken to... We're going into... Venteza's pocket plane? Uh, you are. Can you... Incredible. I think I'm going to teleport to you. I have a waypoint. A whole world inside one little glass nut. The perfect place to hide. This is like the... Yeah, um, I'm going to have to look things up because this session has been how to turn player two into baggage. Oh, don't be mad about it. I don't know how to fix it, but if we can, we will. Um... So we are all permanently slowed, which I hate. Uh, I don't know what that's coming from specifically, but I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> Step on the thing as it speed up. Well, this all looks. Fancy. Well, this all looks familiar. Large, although we did it is not a I mean at this point. It's just tacky It certainly has that edge whatever place this once was we must access the council of seven But do let's okay. He has nothing helpful to offer uh, 
Uh, nothing important looking up there. Um, books on the shelf you checked. <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna see if I can open this door. Yeah, I stepped on some switch over here. There's another one in the center of the room. Perfect, yeah. Uh, you think we have to step on them at the same time? That's the guess. There's a third one over here, too. Oh. Go for a run, Losa. Low walk. There's also one there. Okay. Laura could get one if you were more helpful. Yep, we need crates. Hang on. Oh, okay. What's a puzzle? Uh, there's one back there. We got two here. Third one up here that Losa can do. I can throw these pretty far. You want to see? Yes. I, you missed it already. I threw it from the waypoint to the door. Well, <laughs> what? you can do with high strength in this game. Losa can't even lift this box over here. What? Now just go put that on the thing. All the way across the fucking room. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I carry around like 600 pounds and that's half my capacity. I have to use telekinesis to lift things. Uh, Fane needs a box, though. I'll just go whip that one. Oh. That machine want to have a conversation with us? Fane. Said something about love not being the answer? What? Love is not the answer. Answer search continues. What is the, is it me, is mechanist the name of the 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 clockwork yes. D and D plane? Yeah, correct. This is giving me super mechanist vibes. Mechanist is supposed to be the plane of order, though, and this seems to be the plane of impasse tricksters. <laughs> Frickin bottles. No visitor's guide? It's a terribly designed theme park. Another switch over here. It does, but... Ah! Okay, well that creates a lot of fire. <laughs> Figured out what it does. An acorn is not the answer, but it may be close. Emergency protocol. Closer than a chicken In acorn. case of interdimensional meltdown, please deactivate the core to ensure continuity of existence. We would urge all who come into contact with the core to exert caution, as many rely on existence to exist. <laughs> what? For more intimate views of the end of existence, we suggest following the pipes. Yeah, that one An is... An acorn is not the answer, but it may be close. Closer than a chicken, at least. The search continues. Good to know. Uh, there's a switch over there. Can we just jump this door? That switch just creates fire. Be careful. Um, I tried to jump the door. It didn't do anything. Or it didn't let me. Oh. Well, this one I can just pick. Yeah. Do 
Essential engineering. Paper. Essential company. engineering by Barty Crumb. Curious about autonom automatons? Unsure how to get the most out of these mechanical wonders? Then read on for Barty's tips, tricks, and tutelage. Step one, make it run. How? Why? With a phase capacitor, of course. More about those in chapter five. Suffice to say, an automaton cannot function without one. Okay. In the unlikely event an automaton should malfunction, rip the capacitor out before it can do any significant damage. Pretty certain you can like pickpocket the capacitors out of robots you fight or some shit. That would be rad. Order is not the answer. Answer search. Oh, Jesus well, it's, Christ, Losa. It's definitely not mechanist, Dave. Order is not the answer. Answer search uh, continues. Losa, Losa, oh, I can't identify shit anymore because I don't have Fane. Well, Losa can now has in her inventory uh, unidentified yellow bow. Good. Sharpshooter, level 16. Seven dodging, acid for one turn, burning for one turn, finesse, less damage. Uh, it grants sky shot, but it's not as good as Heartseeker. Yep. Uh, I'm stupid. Fucking tactical retreated onto the. How painful is that? Is that death fog? No, it's not. I hit you for 28, which. I don't care. Or it does damage. That doesn't do it. such a weird mechanic for a dungeon where everybody moves like hyper slow it's kind of awful like why 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 make us go so slow okay there's a lever i'm gonna pull it oh did that lower the door there's a twisty thing over here i'm gonna twist it Did I just turn up time? Oh boy, yes you did. Oh well, and that- music sped up too. Weird. Yo, Dejar, what's up? Oh god, what's happening? Did you light I everything? just turned something called the emergency flush protocol. Ah! Holy nards, is that death fog uh -oh, on everything? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Why is Fane not dead? Because he doesn't die to death fog? Yeah. Oh, and now he's burning! What? What's up, Dejara? We just got rocked. So, the emergency flush protocol, uh. Emergency, uh, death fogs everything. It, yes. Did you hear the. Did you hear the sound slow back down, yeah. That's so funny. Okay, so we hit, we beeline it to the, turn everything to haste mode instead of slow mode. Oh my god. How is your brain, Dejara? Finished a relic weapon? I, the amount of uh, tomfoolery, we'll say, that goes into getting that relic weapon is just stupid. Has been a time. That's the one way of putting it. Place to hide. I'm uh, loaded to save. I, I think you're outside. No, nope. I'm walking over there to whip that box across okay. everything. The mug of wine in there. Look at this. God, you're doing it again. Brutal. That's... That's like, it's low in my list of priorities. I uh, assumedly will do it at some point, but I have to go through Castrum and all that crap first. 
Would that be like a, see, dude. Would that be akin to getting a uh, um like a legendary in in WoW where you have to do all the like quests and gather resources? Yeah, it's it's a stupid amount of time investment, but it's one of the like few guaranteed ways you can get something pretty damn strong yourself. Mm -hmm. Hey, see, you, dude. I believe that's all for. Okay, I never tried opening the center one, but I think the first thing, once again, is going to keep tactical retreating as fast as I can. Attempt to go and turn that thing. Because the haste gets rid of the slow for a very short period of time. I think it got rid of it for ever. For a few seconds. I, I think... No, like when you tactical retreat and put haste on yourself. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God it's not actually that tough of a thievery thing. After the first one, it's just 15 things, and then 15 things, and then 15 things. <laughs> That's all. Running like clockwork. Deactivate the after unstable I got the ambush guide thing. Okay, we should now be pasted in good. Yeah, do you want to come unlock this thing again? Uh, which side was it on? Oh, back there. Yo, Losa, what are you... He... Just got stuck. This door, bud. <laughs> now that everything's moving so fast, my brain... Like, uh... Uh, and there was some random stuff here. That book. Yeah, oh, unfortunately we don't get the bow answer. anymore, but it wasn't better is what you're saying. Yes, no, it was not. Do you want to throw a save now? I think I shall. And there was the hyperdrive protocol. Christ, I don't know when to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, made it over here. Anything interesting up there? I mean, the fucking kill yourself button again? Well, yes. That I'm not hitting? That was this, like, oh yeah, it actually says emergency flush protocol. It does, yes. This whole thing has got to be, like, referential to a book, or... Sir Laura's pretty close to dead. He's got, like, half health. Laura, um... Keep this restoration. Jesus. Okay, come on. Um, the core is trying to kill me. Oh! It said, hostile threat detected. Executing operator ex... Extirpation, E X T I R P A T I O N. I don't know that word. Extirpation in three, two. I could either reach for the great ball of light or complete the countdown in my head. Well, so it, we have to, we have to shut down the core, correct? Yeah, I mean, click on me. Oh, can you select Losa and then click on me so you can see the options? Or is someone not in the fight? These two aren't in the fight, but I can't actually listen to you for some reason. It's it's complete the countdown in your head and just kind of let it go or reach for the great ball of light. Um, Fancy way of saying murder. Perfect. I'm going to reach for it. Oh, I can get to the core in 4 AP because of the hyper speed protocol. Oh, sick. I mean, it said we had to shut down the cores. Extirpation so. aborted. Returning to primary task. Whew. Okay. That worked out really, really well, actually. Yeah, managed to make it fast enough. 
Those movement boots. Also the haste. Yeah. On touching the glowing ball of light, text appears before your eyes. Three, threat de-escalated. Returning to primary task. Answer search running. If it's looking for an answer, ask what the question is. What is the universe? Ah. Ask if it's found the answer yet. Oh, I can answer actually not listen yet now, found. finally. Search estimated 358 million years. Estimated search time 358 million 910,227 years. Abnormal seismic activity threatened primary task operations. Operator sabotage suspected. To protect core functionality and data retention, first level security measures were activated. So it rebelled Operator against. Operator submitted override string. Large quadrupeds are playing with a framing device. The likelihood of quadrupeds having the world's fucking with play it. was calculated at one in two. Oh. The likelihood of an operator lying about quadrupeds shaking the framing device was also calculated at one in two. So this thing Operators blew up all the imps because the wolves are shaking it. To the yes. Machine. Operator was identified as most likely primary threat. Extirpation was deemed the safest and most logical action. So the core basically decided... Threat de-escalated. Returning to primary task. Answer search running. Okay. So we get a rune frame of power. We get some boots. Fire arrow. <clears throat> One-handed axe. A two-handed mace. Staff in here, a garbage crossbow. Um, some pants of magic that are wood's retribution persistence. Protective deep. armor. Is deep thought a reference to something? Uh, deep thought was um. Got deep blue was the chess computer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, so let me throw down a quick. Dave, we'll talk to the altar. I don't know. I'm I'm wary of this uh, place now. Hitmaker's Guide. That very much is also the vibe I was getting with the the searching for the answer bit. Okay. Um, I'll talk to the altar of Zantessa, I suppose. Sure. You reach out to touch the altar. Its cold surface a curious foil to the thrumming and clanging metal that surrounds you. Pray to the goddess of mirth. Your vision clouds, your head swims, and when the fog clears, you are still standing in the imp temple. You look around in confusion. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. There's a cough behind you. Turning, you see Zantesa. Not some allegorical figure. Oh, cool. Not some awe-inspiring god. Just so you know how I just got that, like, cool-ass weapon thing? On the yes. Platform, taking you yeah, in. this other one's better. What? Better than the one that was better than yours with also cleave. Mm-hmm. So Zanteza is appeared to me I my finally vision. do a hundred to hundred and six physical damage with it. Good. And fourteen to fifteen earth damage. It's three strength. Instead of one warfare, it's 180 HP. Uh set slow, thirty percent cleave damage. And it slows people when you hit them? Yeah, it's got the set slow at a 20% chance. You have a good chance to not let anybody ever run away from you again. Yeah, so Zantesa is uh, just kind of looking at me. Moon. Said Moon. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, am I supposed to believe any straight answer the goddess of mirth gives us? The goddess shrugs non-committally. Whatever you want to believe God, seems to be you. fine with her. I like Zantesa. Her eyes She's wicked. Fun. I have a proposition for you. I'll reveal if I'm telling the truth, but only if you disown your god. If I disown my god. Deep within, you can feel your god stirring, hissing like a snake. Oh, make no mistake. I'm not asking you to support me at the Wellspring. Just not to be beholden to her. To think for yourself. To make choices that you think are right. Not what some half-dead god demands. Alex, I'm not sure what we missed. Yeah. Because, like... 
Losa isn't... Her quest won't proceed even, like, until we get to Act 4 with Jehan and stuff, so, like, I don't know. That's what I was thinking with arcs. Like, maybe maybe there was a Fane thing we missed or didn't complete or made the wrong choice on. I don't know. Zenteza wants me to renounce my god. Mm. This is tough as shit. How do I know you're not an angel of the world? That I know, but that's the situation. You can walk away with my word, or reject your god and be sure. Oh man, I don't know. Which one? I don't like the way Zorlstis has been acting. I can feel the gods training within me. Or no fuck off. Mm. I mean, I, I, I guess if I renounce Zorlstis, uh, out of me. This is the god of imps. I don't know. I mean, you can release your god and I would speak to them for you. It's up to you. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll try your that. Your god flies forth, grasping at Xantes's neck, but her hands connect with nothing. She spins, confused and snarling. The imp's image shimmers, solid as any mirage, and fades to nothing, leaving only an echo of laughter and a bright moon shining down from above. Okay. I, I believe the answer is moon. Okay. Um. Do we want to try to go bring this thing to... Well, actually, I don't even know if we can pick this gem up or not. The ruby? Yeah. Maybe? Locked. Not for long. Oh, this lock can't be picked. God damn it. Well, kind of seems like that's about everything we're going to get from here. Oh, Spirit of an Imp. Oh, oh, Spirit of an Imp. This guy, there. Excuse me, sir, can we ask you a from question? From the size and shape of the spirit, you deduce that this is, or was, an imp. From its expression, you deduce that it's not very happy about being dead. What he knew about the machine or memories for the manner of its death? Uh, machine. We kind of know that the machine killed them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are Marazaken, the engineer. You keep the machine running and focused on its primary task. Just as your ancestors did, you await the answer to the great question. What is the universe? But the machine only knows what the universe is not. It searches for the right answer by eliminating the wrong ones. You expect the process to be complete soon. Any millennium now, in fact. But recently, you've been getting the impression that the machine, <laughs> well, it just doesn't <laughs> trust you. You are Marasaken, the engineer. After uh, long yeah. years of quiet work, the gem falls into the jaws of two great black ring walls. You flee to the one place where you know you will be safe from the death fog and the rock fire. But before you can plan your rush to the call where you'll apply the failsafe, a falling object hits you on the head. In a flash, you are dead. But still, your objective burns in your mind. Okay, so we did it correctly. Uh, like when you rushed the machine and we had the haste and stuff on. Yeah, it seems like you had to just kind of get in there and turn it off. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. All the pipes. Okay, nothing over here yet. Let's get over here, little guy. 
another reliquary. Or not a reliquary. Holy crap! Uh, legendary shield, leg or divine boots, uh, 1200 bucks, divine dagger. You're in my pocket. Really? Yeah, I picked up the gem. Oh, that's awesome. I found some pretty cool shoes, uh, which I think are better than my current shoes. There's a little initiative, but that's not a big deal. First divine dagger I've ever found. It's actually pretty rad. Shield. Overlord. Leadership accuracy, yeah. some con. I don't I don't understand what what they would be talking about in terms of advancing their quests more because Losa's quest literally says we'll go demon hunting in arcs with Jehan Los Jehan asks us to travel with us to arcs where he says the demon is hiding and then the next thing is Losa back my claim on divinity like there is zero more we could have done there oh. I'm just waiting to put the thingy in Okay, I tried fo like the Oh, I'm yeah, I'm looking at the stream now. I tried following the pipes and I found that cool chest with some cool stuff in it, but I think now I've come to the end of it and maybe this was a sneaky way to like jump behind the core or something. Oh, possibly. But there doesn't seem to be anything like clickable here. Nothing with that ladder or anything. Or is that how you got over there? That's how I got down from the upper. I don't think so. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this might be at least a couple developers' favorite area. A yeah, yeah, exactly. Just teleport to me instead. Oh, okay. Once again, slows down. Good say? Well, let me put it in. An empty pedestal stands before you. Oh, it's probably because I have to do the whole thing. I'm going to drop it so you can grab it. Hey, there's an option to grasp it firmly an as well as you can probably just use the pedestal. Before you. Hmm. An empty pedestal it says stands, stands before, before you. you. From the you try dragging it on. Just see if I can like take it out of my inventory and put it in. Yeah. An empty pedestal stands before you. Literally looks like it's supposed. It's just not what enough if you space. Grasp it firmly, you can use the gem. Grasp the gem firmly. The gem feels both extremely hot and extra. The stars. Looky, looky, looky here. What's red and black and blue? The same thing. Mm, yeah. Oh, all right. If I look away, or if I. Uh, it look away and it instantly teleported me in. Yeah, I have to get the thing to like. The gem feels both extreme. The stars. Looky, looky, looky here. Uh. Oh. I try two. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I don't know if there's really anything else we can do with it. It does sound like Majin Buu. I would agree with that. Stars once more. Heck, it just sent me the pocket plane anyway. <clears throat> it does have shades of Majin Buu, Mephistophically. <clears throat> well, so we did successfully pray at the altar. Yeah. So... So 
So, I mean, that pretty much leaves us with going inside the Lunar Shrine. Oh boy, yeah. The big dungeon. Which, at this point, given it's like 1110, I wouldn't be totally against leaving going forward into whatever long ass thing we have lined up there no i fully agree we got a good start pretty much like you know right at 8 30 um and this is definitely not we've basically to... uncovered everything else on the map yeah oh the bunny stepped on the things and it got source infused oh my we just slurped up source that was meant for us yeah, all of the um, all of the little things are lit up. So I think next time we can endeavor to try to solve this puzzle and go inside. Yeah, we just have to set them to sun or moon and then continue on. I think. I think that works. All right, uh, dope. Then that'll do it for the evening. Um, thank you everybody for coming along. Um, it, <laughs> I feel like. After the first half of this game, every place we go, we're just being constantly hit with like, what? And oh my god. That's the way a story should work. Yeah, it's true. I suppose at this point they gotta like extra blow our minds because the beginning, you know, sets the scene or something. But yeah, um, in terms of the characters, I guess, I don't know, I'll, I'll try to look something up to see if there's anything important and like if there's an easy way to fix it we do have saves that go back to before that <clears throat> and if it's meaningful enough dave and i can take you know 20 minutes and just rocket through what we did you know we'll lose items that we got but that's less important than you know being able to control characters separately and have them still like the story because like I want to finish Losa's quest I want to finish Fane's quest so um I'll have to carefully look it up without uh uh spoiling myself for the story or something so I have no idea how all this ends or I've never had any idea how any of this has gone so but yes uh yeah it's 11 15 I think a good time to end this um, anything else to add before we depart, Dave? Nope. Okay, um, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be, um, this sun, should I, do you think I should say something about this Sunday? Probably, right? Build a little hype? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, so, uh, this Sunday, we will be trying out a new game, and not a new game to everyone, because everybody already owns it. Uh, that game is named Valheim. It's Vikings, it's survival, it's base building, it's crafting and resource management and stuff, and like a third person action thing. Um, I think we, it's it's the Zeitgeist game right now, um, but also it's like directly up the Sunday streams alley. So it's a game that supports up to ten people in terms of a local co op and stuff. So. Uh, we're going to be hitting that up this, this Sunday. We'll have a little bit more information about that coming up. Uh, but yes, keep an eye out, and the Sunday should be pretty rad. We should have, like, a big old group for it. Excuse me. Pick up thing. Uh, yeah, that being said, I think that's everything for tonight. Thanks again for coming, everybody. Uh, we will see you... Uh, coming Sunday. Alright, bye, friends. Right.